Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal from NirmalTV.com and today we are going to see how to ha partition the hard disk on your Windows 8.1 uh, PC. So Windows has a default option to partition your hard disk. So when you get a new desktop, uh, you have only one f only one drive, the C drive. So you can partition the hard disk uh, using the default uh, partition manager option in uh, Windows 8.1. So let's have a quick look at how to do that. So for that you need to run the disk management uh, utility uh, to run that uh, you can just use the run command uh, this is uh, so to run the disk management you can just type uh, disk mgmt.msc in the run command and then click ok so this will open the disk management utility on your windows 8.1 so the disk management utility has been opened so you can see all the hard drives uh, which are available on your uh, pc right now so you can see the disk uh, the basic disk which is uh, the total m total size of the disk and all the partitions along with uh, the format type uh, as well as uh, the uh, the partition size so if you want to create a new um, hard hard drive you need to either shrink a partition existing partition or create from a blank uh, space so right now we'll see how to shrink a partition so let's see right click this uh, this drive and see you can see the option uh, shrink volume so let's uh, shrink this so first it will uh, query the volume available for shrinking so the current size is uh, 200 gb so size available for shrink is uh, 136 gb this depends upon uh, the amount of space already available in uh, in this drive so if this is um, uh, blank drive you can uh, customize customize or you can shrink the amount of uh, space uh, uh, based on the available space in uh, this current hard hard disk i mean hard drive so currently there is 136 uh, gb available to shrink so let's uh, just select uh, uh, just uh, we'll select 100 gb so let's uh, select uh, uh, 100 GB so the total shrink size uh, after the disk has been shrunk is 104 GB for the existing one so let's shrink this so now you can see the uh, a new free space available here it's it's 97 GB and uh, this one is uh, 102 GB so that was the volume which uh, we took which separated the free space from here so now if you want to now if you go and see the uh, windows explorer you won't see this as a drive because this is a free space it has not been created as a hard drive so right click on this and just click uh, new symbol volume so you can see the wizard here welcome to the new symbol volume wizard then select next you can uh, select the maximum volume so if you want to create just one drive you can select the complete uh, 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 space available if you want to create more than one you can select the shrink volume so i mean this uh, volume for this uh, drive so click next and assign the letters then you can do a quick formatting select uh, ntfs uh, default allocation unit and you can add a new volume you can add a volume label but you can also perform a quick formatting so now this will uh, as you can see now it has created a new uh, drive and it's formatting now so let's uh, see once the formatting is complete So you can see here new volume has been created it's a 97.66 gb and it's a logical drive so you can see it will open this uh, new created drive here so this is empty right now so so we have successfully created a new drive you can again uh, shrink this and uh, create uh, more volumes using this you have the option to delete the volume as well so now how do we merge two volumes so if i want to merge this one just right click you can just delete this volume so it says uh, deleting this volume will erase all the data so let's let's just delete now we, what you can see is if you want to merge the space to the whatever i create whatever i partition so right click this volume you can see extend volume so the the thing is that you cannot extend a volume vol you cannot extend this free space to k or a j drive you need to have a you can extend this to only the uh, i drive because uh, the space is allocated from this place so you need to have uh, you can you can extend the volume only the adjacent one so you can, let's see extend volume 
so you can you can see another wizard to extend the volume so so we have selected this uh, 100 gb uh, free space so let's select next once you click finish you can see it's back to 200 gb from where we split it into two uh, so this is uh, now back you can just open it and see this is this will be uh, once again uh, 200 gb so this is the way you can um, partition your hard disk so you can uh, do quite a lot of things here you can uh, format this drive you can change letters and parts you can shrink volume as we seen before you can delete the volume and you can extend the volume if they are adjacent ones so those are the options here but uh, we we uh, we recommend you not to try with the um, boot partitions so because that might mess up your settings so it's better to uh, keep the boot partition uh, uh, separate and uh, you can just try shrinking or extending the other volumes extended volumes of this so these are the options in uh, disk management app in uh, windows 8.1 so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts or queries uh, do post it in comments and we'll be glad to help you with the partition thanks for watching the video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for all the latest updates